Swamps, countless canals and natural watercourses are typical of the rugged landscape of Cuba's Tianaga de Vapata Peninsula. This, the Montemar Nature Park, that is located in the southern part of the Cuban province of Matanzas, is regarded as one of the largest wetlands in the entire Caribbean. The surrounding landscape reflects in the water. But in addition to its visual charms, the landscape is a vital habitat for several endangered species of bird. Prior to the Cuban Revolution, this area was owned by ten powerful entrepreneurs. At that time, woodcutters, charcoal burners and crocodile hunters worked within the mangrove forests. Although the work of the traditional charcoal burners still takes place, a fairly new source of income has become increasingly important. Tourism. Of the park's 180 varieties of bird, 23 are endemic. Birds that only live on the Thianaga de Zapata Peninsula. Thanks to their large numbers, they are relatively easy to observe. This colourful nature reserve contains a total of 14 ecosystems, half of which comprise various kinds of forest. Regions that are located above the treetops and palms are very lively places. Birds are in abundance and some circle the ground in search of prey. Today it's a well-known fact Thienaga is a paradise for ornithologists and those with a general interest in nature. The natural canals within this swampy landscape are a complex system of mazes. Cuba's Rio Hatiguanico, a river that carries a huge volume of water, flows through these idyllic wetlands. The river flows into the Ensenada da Broa, a vast and extended ocean bay in the western part of the Zapata Peninsula, important for the farming of prawn and crawfish. The most extraordinary example of this region's wetlands is an ancient fish. For many years it was believed to be extinct but here in Cuba, it has managed to survive. Conversely, the turtle is quite common. The river and swamp areas of Tianaga de Zapata are considered to be one of the few remaining large natural habitats in the Caribbean.
an amazing display of animals and plants can be discovered in the crystal clear water and along the river banks. The small boats move cautiously through some of the remotest sections of the nature reserve. For the water contains hidden dangers. The Cuba trogon, or tocororo, is the country's national bird. Each color of the Cuban flag is contained in the feathers of this intriguing bird. This small but unique bird is just one of several local endemic species. The landscape of the Salinas is totally different. In this savanna-like environment, the vegetation is quite scant. The earth is arid. The land is covered with cracks. But this region is not as empty and lifeless as may first appear. The natural landscape of the Salinas consists of water and dry plains. Together they form a vital habitat for several endangered species. It comes as no surprise that bird lovers and ornithologists from all over the world come here to observe flamingos and other exotic birds in a free and natural environment. Approximately 342 varieties of bird have been recorded in Cuba. The majority inhabit the Zapata Peninsula. There are still some crocodiles in the swamps of this region, although most of them belong to a large crocodile farm in Guam. Up to 40,000 crocodiles live in the fenced lakes of the farm but the quantity of its smaller creatures is unknown. The fascinating and unique beauty of this natural ecological area of the Caribbean gradually reveals itself to those who come here for the first time. With its abundance of natural splendor, the Cienaga de Zapata in the heart of Cuba is like a beautiful work of art created by nature.